I don't know what is wrong. I have plugged the NAS and everything over in the network closet. Everything should be working fine. When I take a look at the computer, it shows no internet connection right here. So I'm not getting an IP from the router. Something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I hate when this happens. Drives me crazy. Gets me frustrated, but we will get it figured out. Hey everybody, welcome back to our networking series. We're going to be going over home networking. Now in the first video that we did, we talked about a beginner home setup. It was a one gig networking setup kind of to help everyone get up to speed on configuring all their hardware, setting up their home network. So if you haven't checked that video out, be sure to check that one out. I will leave a link to the playlist down in the description of this video. But the next step that I want to do is I actually want to upgrade my home network to 2.5 gigs. Now that's obviously going to be two and a half times faster than a one gig connection, but I have to upgrade pretty much all of the hardware in my house to do that. And the reason I'm doing that is one, hardware is getting a lot cheaper and more affordable. Two is that I want to start using my network attached storage or my NAS to not only save all of the footage that I am recording, but to record directly off of the NAS. And I need a faster connection for that because I believe my network connection is kind of the bottleneck for all the slowness that I'm getting on the computer. Now, all of the hardware that I have for that video is on its way, but I might have made a huge mistake. And the reason being is that my entire house is wired with ethernet cable, but it is cat 5e and cat 5e maxes out at a rating of one gigabit speeds. Now, from what I read, you can go over the one gigabit speeds, but that is going to depend on a lot of things, the quality of the cable, the length of the cable. So I might be in trouble when it comes to upgrading my home network. But in today's video, I want to test that out. We are going to set up kind of a home lab to run speed tests on my cabling in my walls to see if I can truly take advantage of a 2.5 gigabit home network. So to start it off, we're going to do an IP speed test to see the kind of speeds that I'm currently getting right now. So typically when you want to test out your home network at speed, you're going to go to the internet and do an IP speed test. This is the one that I typically do for all of my speed tests but you are reliant on your internet actually providing those max speeds that you're paying for. I pay for a thousand meg up and down. It looks like right here for my download. It's actually pretty low right now. Typically I get around 950. Right now I'm looking, I'm in the low eights, 843 download speeds. We got testing my upload speeds right now. Uploads usually a little bit faster. It looks like it's quite a bit faster right now, but as you can see, this isn't very reliable. So what I have done is I have set this up right here. This is open speed test and this is being run locally on my network attached storage or my NAS. And it is essentially a server that can run stuff like this. So I wanna run this test right here, which is going to give me a much more accurate assessment of my network speed. Now I have a ton of devices on my network that are all capped at about a gig. So I'm expecting to get in the high nines, maybe even into the low 1000. So we've got 986 for my download speeds. And yeah, very similar for my upload speeds, but I want to upgrade it to 2.5 gigs. So 2,500 speed that we would be seeing on here, but I don't know if the cables in my wall, the cat 5 E are actually going to be able to handle that. But to test that out, instead of just upgrading the network right now to 2.5, I really want to push these cables to the test. And so because of that, I'm going to set up a test lab with 10 gig, really going to push these cables to the test and see where they really max out. So let's take a look at that hardware right now. All right, so there is the temporary lab hardware that I'm gonna be setting up. Now, the reason that this is just temporary is because some of the stuff is on loan. I'm just using it for the sake of testing out my cables. I'm not keeping it, otherwise I just kind of set up through the whole house. First thing that we have is for the NAS, we have a 10 gig NIC that we are going to install in there. I've got some category eight cabling. Now I went with eight just because it was only a few cents more than getting category seven or even six. So why not future proof and go category eight? This is capable of up to 40 gig speeds. 
So we have that. We have got a 10 gig card for the computer. And we also have kind of the center of everything is our 10 gig switch. So this is everything that we are going to be setting up to really push the cables in this wall to the test and see where we can max them out. All right, so we've installed the card on the back of the NAS. I brought it in here just to kind of make everything closer to each other because we're gonna be connected to the computer that is right over here. But now we're going to set up our network switch. So this is the 10 gig switch right here. Not much to it, it is unmanaged. I just wanted something nice and simple and not have to worry about setting up any kind of management for this thing. Go ahead and get this guy plugged in. We have everything connected right now. All of the lighting looks good. It is a flashing green indicating that we are getting the 10 to five gig connection on here. But let's go ahead and test it out because on this one, we should be getting roughly 10 gig speeds on here because everything that is connected right now is all 10 gig. All right, let's go ahead and test out this 10 gig speed. All right. To look at that, we're getting into the low nine, so not quite up to the tens that I was expecting, but that is fast. We're getting 8.6, and then our upload speed's at nine and a half, nine eight, nine seven, cap it out there pretty high. All right, averaging out about 9.5. So we're not getting that great on the download speeds. And I'm curious to see, let's run it one more time, if it could be a potential hardware problem on the NAS, just having some problems keeping up. Okay, we're getting much better speeds here. We saw it capping out around 9.3 on there for our download speed. So speeds are getting better. I wonder if it's because the NAS was just powered on recently and it's still loading up some things to the background. We've got 9.1 there. And then let's see our upload speed, 9.7, 9.9. All right, so... Upload speeds are better than our download speeds, but those are very respectable numbers. Wow, 9.8, we're seeing on average here for our upload speed. So now that we have tested out the 10 gig network and see the speeds that we're getting, let me go ahead and move the NAS to the other side of the network port in the wall. And we're going to actually be putting this full 10 gig network through that category 5e cable and see what kind of speeds we are getting. All right, something's wrong, but I don't know what is wrong. I have plugged the NAS and everything over in the network closet. I've got this computer plugged into the wall over here. Everything should be working fine. When I take a look at the computer, it shows no internet connection right here. So I'm not getting an IP from the router here. And I have no idea what is wrong with this thing. It is driving me crazy. I've been trying to troubleshoot it for a while. Initially, I did not have the router plugged into that 10 gig switch. And then I realized that that would mean there's no DHCP, so no IP addresses are being handed out. However, I have now plugged it in there and it is still not working. So something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. I hate when this happens. It drives me crazy, gets me frustrated but we will get it figured out. All right, I have everything ripped out of the closet and here is what the setup looks like. We have got, this is the CAT5 cable that is in my wall. I'm expecting it to be, I guess about 30 feet. So there is about 30 feet coming out into our switch right here. We have got the other cable, the CAT5E, that is going into the back of that as, and then we have also got our other cable that is going into the back of our router with DHCP and all that stuff. So it should be hooking it up. So I am not sure what I have hooked up wrong, but this is the setup inside. If you see and it's obvious to you what I am doing wrong, leave a comment and let me know. But uh, hopefully when I come back here, we'll be set up and ready to go. All right, we are back up and running. So I got rid of this cable that I had plugged into the top port of the router here. And I took this one. This is the one that I've been using that plugs into my main switch right here into port number one. I unplugged that one out of port one. I plugged it into this one and now it's working. 
I don't understand why it didn't also work to have this black cable plugged in to the top, but whatever, I'm up and running now, so let's get this thing tested. Okay, so everything is back up and running. It is in the server closet, and I want you guys to guess the speed that you think I'm gonna be able to get over this Category 5 cable. Just a reminder, Category 5 cable maxes out. Its rating is 1,000 meg. So a thousand is what it is capable of or at least a guaranteed number but we know it can go over that so what do you guys think it's going to go over that i am going to guess about two thousand so double what it says it is capable of now i'm going for a 2.5 gig overhaul of the home networking but if i can get two gigs out of this connection here i'll be totally happy with that so let's go ahead right now and we are going to test to see what speeds we're about to get are you ready Ready? Yeah, you your guess is in. All right, here we go. What? Nines? Nine three? Nine two? Nine three? What? Do I have this connected right? Nine point two? And we're getting almost a ten gig. Upload speed 9.9. .9? What is happening here? We're running over a category 5e cable that is guaranteed to give us speeds of 1000 and we're getting 9000. 9.2 and 9.8 is what we're getting out of this cable. I can't believe it. Now, granted, it's only a 30 foot or, you know, roughly about a 30 foot run. So it's not super long because obviously the longer the cable, the uh, lower the speed you're going to get out of it. So it's not super long, but I got to say this went way above and beyond my expectations. I'm super happy with that. So almost getting 10 gigs out of this cable. Love it. Maybe down the road, maybe next year we'll upgrade it to a full 10 gig network when that is more affordable. But as for right now, I'm going to be packing up that 10 gig lab. We are going to be setting up the 2.5 gig network throughout the house that is going to be a future video so stay tuned for that we've got a lot more planned out for the networking series i will leave a link below to that playlist so you guys can catch up on any videos or just be ready for any future videos that are coming out with our networking series here hopefully this video was entertaining for you guys you got some enjoyment out of it if so, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And we'll see you guys in the next video.